What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mama the Great, coming back with another banger, man. Hey, listen, you guys been showing crazy love, man. I'm going to keep doing my part. Y'all keep doing your part. So, be, hey, before we even go anywhere, y'all smash that thumbs up for your boy, man. Hey, listen, let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be getting into today, bro. Hey, it's crazy that the Raiders haven't won anything, anything, bro. And yet their theme team is good every year, bro. Hey, I, I kid y'all not, bro. This theme team I just went against went so crazy against me, dog. When I tell y'all, sticking, I mean, sticking to me, bro, like spider web, it was, it, it was just unbelievable, bro. Hey, man, I'm going to shut up. Y'all just do me that solid, man. Y'all smash that thumbs up before going anywhere. You new to the channel, man, y'all hit that sub button for your boy. If you're rocking with your boy, you heard me? Now let's go ahead and get into it, yeah, man. First off, I just want to say shout out to them Packers for beating them Cowboys and also for releasing Amore Rogers. It was just time. Hey, listen, I hope you find success in the future somewhere in that league, but just not in Green Bay, bro. You were straight abysmal. Abysmal. Let's get into the video. Though. So as y'all can see, bro, um, that's my cars there, 93, 93, 92. Kelvin Johnson is still him, so... But look at this. Look, just look at this Raiders theme team, bro. 95 Mike Haynes, 94 Tracy Porter, and 93 Devontae Adams, bro. I'm looking at this team. I'm like, this is about to be a hell game. Hell game. So, look. I mean, I came out. I'm like, he's running single back, second and five. I'm like, bro, what's going on, bro? We're like, what we in? So, he was throwing his little corner route to the left side. So, I adjusted to it. You know, well, not yet. I was going to adjust to it, and he died to me up for about a gain of what, maybe 20? So I'm like, okay, so we got ourselves a single back player. He comes out in the same formation. I'm like, bro, you're not playing no scrub, bro. I am going to adjust to that. He literally decides to run the exact same play, bro. I'm like, no, this dude cannot be serious. And he throws the easy book, bro. Easy book. I'm like, okay, so we got our stop already. So I'm like, this is going to be an easy one then, right? Got to be. Throwing batteries like that, this got to be an easy game for me, bro. So cool. First and 10, I come up. I'm looking at this defense. I'm like, okay, so this is man press. Anytime I see this, I come out of my gun tight, my man beater, and I get to the straight lasering. So as you can see, looking for this corner out here, got him to Kelvin Johnson. Of course, you have to freeform that pass. If you do not do that, you will throw an easy pick. Came back out, no huddle. I like the defense he's in. I want to keep him in that defense. Again, I shred man to man, bro. A lot of people struggle with it. Um, and I don't have the best of the best receivers, but I know how to, you know, manipulate these man-to-mans and dial them up. So as y'all can see, that's the player I'm going with right there. Um, he didn't. He thought I was going back to that corner route again, but I switched him over to a nice cross for a nice easy dot. Seven nothing already to Calvin Johnson, bro. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely going to be an easy game for me. You feel me? That's how I was looking at it. That's how I was looking at it. I want y'all to remember that. I thought this was an easy game. So again, seven nothing. You know, uh, getting ready to kick him back the ball. Um, it's second and ten. I came out in dollar because he switched up his, his offense. And we blew the run up, bro. Now, it's really not that that um, easy to blow the run up in dollar. But we was blowing it up, trying to make him more of a passer. It's third and nine, trying to see what he's with. There go my adjustments, moving people around, manning them up, you know. Not really sending the heat heat. You know, kind of throwing him off a little bit. So that's the adjustments I'm going to go with right there. Um... Play the running back, play the tight end, and that's really a dot. But you see, I rock zone kills, and unfortunately, Javon Holland knocked it out. That's why he's still on my team. He gets that that discounted AP for just an 89 overall, so he's still on the team. But it's 4 to 9. He decides to go for it. I'm saying to myself, if I get to stop now, this game is over with. You know, I already got one, but if I get two, perfect defense right here, bro. Perfect defense, and look at EA, bro. Perfect defense, bro. Why is he behind him, bro? Why is he not jumping the route? They need to fix the clouds on this game. It's really broken. So, again, came out in this defense. He caught me lacking. And look at Sam Adams, bro. I mean, 
fat boy, you gotta go. Look at him, bro. That man running to the, hey, he running like a fat kid running to a cafeteria line. I mean, you already know back in school how them big boys used to be in front of the line trying to get their food generally. You already know. Matter of fact, I'm not having no fat boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was running to the cafeteria line, you feel me? But we get the easy pick six right there, you know what I'm saying? Surprise, they let me catch it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know what Sam Adams catching is on this game, but I love the book. I love it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because again, it was a book. Surprise, I caught it with a defensive tackle. But easy pick six, you feel me? I'm saying to myself, this dude really just threw me a pick six to my D tackle. So we go up 14 nothing here, man. I'm saying to myself, I get one more stop. This dude's going to leave the game. You know, I'm like, I don't see him staying past the second half, the second quarter, like half of the second quarter. Come on, we run pretty good defense again. He gets an inaccurate throw right there with Josh Allen. Yo, let me know if that Josh Allen is good. I still haven't unlocked him, but I don't know if he's good or not. Third and 10, perfect adjustment. Y'all, look at this. He really threw that, bro. He seen me all over that route and still threw that, bro. And again, another pick six, you feel me? I love pick sixes, bro. I don't know if I was playing Stevie Wonder or what, bro, because this cat <laughs> was just throwing anything. Y'all know Stevie Wonder, bro. Isn't she lovely? I mean, that's what... I, it is lovely. I'm catching all these pick sixes as it is, you feel me? Like I said, bro, was really shocked that he was throwing these pick sixes. Bad reads he was making, and I'm up 21 nothing. I'm like, okay, so this dude's still not quitting. Cool. He comes out, start running the ball. I'm like, bro, you're down 21 nothing, bro. It's just no way you want to run the ball, bro. It's no way, bro. You feel me? And I kid y'all not, he's going to no huddle me with that same run for about five times. And then you go get the uh, impressive performance message. You know, anytime you get that, bro, it's really an embarrassment to anybody, to be honest with you. Nobody likes that message, bro. Nobody. You feel me? But it is what it is. You should have got up out of that game. Here he goes, running the ball again. That's a pretty good run. Gain a nine right there. Um, second and one. And here it goes. The no other the no other genes. He found something. He caught me in dollar. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep running the ball. That's all that, that's working for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. He picks up a nice game right here with Eric Dickerson. I'm still rocking free running back Delvin Cook. He has 91 speed, so I mean, I don't see why I need to upgrade my running back, which I'm not really a runner. Y'all know I pass, what, 95% of the time. Again, he picks up a game of six right there. No huddle again. Like I said, he did this maybe four to five times, y'all. He seen something he liked, which, yeah, you caught me in the defense. Well, you can do that. That right there, I don't understand. They need to fix that, bro. They need to fix that. I hate watching guys get the perfect pursuit angle and just can't get to him. Like, why? So, come out of first and ten again. He's in the same um, same set, running the ball, bro. I'm really shocked because I'm like, bro, you do know you're down three scores, right? And you, you're actually choosing to run the ball. But, hey, whatever, whatever you want to do, you do it. So, again, I see the same formation. He's been running the whole game, so I got my same adjustments, and he throws an absolute book shout out to javon holland again we got another pick like i said bro i got just zone ko's and i'm thinking i got myself a pick six bro jason witten comes out of nowhere to come get me bro come on bro y'all gotta stop this so i'm up 21 nothing just telling myself you know what i'm gonna just start throwing whatever and then look boom easy easy book now i'm stevie wonder you feel me now i i can't see what's going on like i said his charles woodson is definitely juiced he's on the raiders theme team so I'm like, bro, he coming out in this same formation, bro. So I'm putting my same adjustments. And for some odd reason, he throws an absolute book again. And look what the, look what EA going to give him. I'm like, EA, bro. EA. EA. Let me talk to y'all, bro. EA, y'all know when y'all give a player one little thing like that, bro, that'll change the entire game. So EA, EA was on his side. You feel me? He's down 21-7. I'm like, bro, they really just gave that dude that, bro. Like, come on, bro. I can't even put that on Javon Holland. That's clearly EA, you feel me? So coming out on second and 12, then he jumps to man-to-man, -man, bro. When I tell you, his man-to-man -man got so vicious off of that one play with Devontae Adams, this is what is going to open. I don't know if y'all know the saying, bro. It opens up a can of worms. His man-to-man -man got vicious. I'm talking about 
sticking to you like, bro, spider webs, bro. Like, seriously speaking, Chinese rice, bro. That sticky ish. You feel me? What's that candy? Y'all know what candy I'm talking about, bro. Where it's get just stuck to your teeth. Look at this, bro. I try to throw this. Thought it was a perfectly good ball, and then we get the, the worst of the worst animation, bro. You feel me? Fourth and 12, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and punt the ball. Something you don't really see this year, punting the ball. But I kind of see the angle EA is trying to take. So I'm like, you know, I don't want to give him an easy touchdown or put him in the red zone easy when I'm up to score. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and punt the ball. So cool. We give him a nasty hit stick right there. No fumble. No fumble whatsoever. So all right, cool. I come back out in my, my, my three, four eyes. You know, um, well, actually my dollar. Again, this is good defense. You, sh you I mean, he, he's literally trying to throw the same read that is, as if I'm not adjusting to it. If y'all don't have this budget goon, Javon Holland, yo, go get him, bro. He's only an 89, and he gets a discounted deep zone KO. That is exactly why he's still on my team. So we catch the pick at the one-yard line, 25 seconds to half. I'm just trying to get out of there and not get a safety, and boom. Look how my line just glitched out and allowed that dude to come in, bro. We had like three people right there, and he still glitched, and they came in. Still glistening and came in. So it's 21 to 9. I'm like, bro, ain't just no way this game is really trying to change the momentum after this guy that threw me like four, three to four interceptions. I'm like, it's no way, bro. Cool. 21 to 9. We about to go into halftime. Um, he really didn't do anything right here, honestly. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't remember. No, actually, he throws an absolute laser right here to Devontae Adams. Now, nah, this is a dot, bro. I thought through the game in a knockout, considering the fact that I do have my X Factor activated and nothing happened. So, 3 4 I, y'all know that's my defense in the red zone. And he throws another book. Straight to Bobby Wagner, free card, bro. Yes, I have him on the field. And we're going to go ahead and get up out of there, bro. Another pick six. Now, I need y'all to let this sink in, bro. I caught three pick sixes in this game. Three pick sixes. Usually, when that happens, you're like, man. I'm definitely going to win this game. Thinking this dude's going to quit. This dude is just, he's not a quitter, bro. You know, I was getting ready to message him and ask him, bro, why aren't you quitting? But, you know, they always give that smart reply like, bro, I'm not a quitter. I'm not going to quit. It's just a game. I'm like, bro, if it's just a game, go play your next one. So it came out in the uh, second half, second and 10, and look at that, y'all. Delvin Cook should have definitely got blown up in the backfield. Not sure how dime defense had two free people to come in the back. But like I told y'all, look at this dot and look what happens. EA. Y'all gave him a fake touchdown and a fake safety. I'm like, bro, what more do y'all want to give this dude? So I decided to grab myself and be like, you know, I'm going for them fourth and sixth. And he gets an absolute crazy shit on the left side, bro. Anthony Munoz has to get off my team. I get it. He's only at 90. No abilities. He definitely has to get off my team. Y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. Who y'all got a left tackle? I definitely could use another left tackle. 28 to 9, first and 10. Y'all see the adjustments. Great adjustments. I don't care what nobody. That is great adjustments right there, bro. So, perfectly good user. Boom. Throws another book. Ted Hendricks, another free card, bro. Y'all need to go get your what? Y'all should have got this free card. 6-7, could never beat that, bro. On a Packers theme team, 90 speed, which I don't have my theme team all the way there yet, but you know. But um, I came out, um, not sure why it's... Wait, hold up. I don't know what happened. Did I throw a pick? I think I threw another pick. But y'all see that? Like, how's that Javon Holland not getting there, bro? How's he not getting there? He throws an absolute laser to Devonta Adams. Now he's down 20 to 16. I'm like... This, it, this is happening. This is actually happening. So, first and 10, I'm like, let me try to chew the clock out, bro. And boom, a gain of one. Thought I had the perfect numbers to try to run that way, and it was nothing. Third and 13, he's sending the dogs again. I'm looking for my corner out, and boom. They tell me good accuracy, but it's not good accuracy. So, I, I, man, I, I'll really be confused when y'all tell us this. Going to my man beater, and we have nothing. Absolutely bad. I told y'all, his man to man started getting real sticky, bro. Real fast. I'm like, okay, so this game is actually changing in my face. 28 to 16, second and seven, and he's back in the same formation. Bro, I have my purple on either five or zero. 
why isn't that linebacker not getting out there, bro? It makes no sense to me, and especially when you're past committees. He runs the ball here. They give me a dumb animation. Couldn't blow it up. I'm like, bro, what is about to happen right here, bro? There's no way I'm about to blow a 21 to zero lead, bro. It's just no way. Let that sink in, yo. I was up 21 to zero, bro. To zero. It's 28 to 16. I'm like, bro, if I lose this game, I'm definitely getting off my game for the rest of the day. First and goal, he coming out. I shot. I uh, slide my line to the left. And we get a nice defensive stop right here. Great tackle right there, bro, by Bobby Wagner. Again, this is why I run 3-4 odd, bro. When you get good linebackers, they're going to play the run perfect. I need to keep upgrading my linebackers, though. I don't know why I spread my defense out this much, bro. I was, It was actually an abysmal move by me, and he gets an easy score with Eric Dickerson. Again, the score was 21 to nothing. Fellas, this score is now 28 to 23. I'm like, bro, it's no way this is really happening, bro. How, bro? Like, bro, this felt like an easy game for me. I'm like, I need to chew this clock before I lose this game. And look at Delvin Cook, bro. Not sure how he got up out of there, but we got to take with the game giving us. I mean, that's what they're doing for him. He's taking with the game giving him. I got to do the same thing, right? Facts. So, coming out on second and one, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep the ball on the ground because I cannot pass versus this vicious man to man. I don't know how they got that vicious. And I got buku man beaters, bro. It just wasn't working all of a sudden. Momentum didn't shift. So, we picked the first down up. Um, first and ten, like I said, I'm keeping it on the ground. You know, try to get this clock moving, try to win this game, get this game over with. Because I don't want to lose to a guy when I was up 21 or nothing, bro. That, then 9 to my 10, he would message me, oh, you choke, this and that. You know, bro, I ain't trying to deal with none of that. I'm chewing the clock. You feel me? Again, it's second and, it's second and two. I'm like, bro, this should be an easy pickup, bro, a first down. Y'all see, I got the nice halfback counter, and look at this. Delvin Cook, you don't fight no, ty no type of fight, bro, to get that first down. So I ran it again. Look at this, y'all. You can't make this game up, bro. If that's anybody else, his running back would have just thrown me off, bro, easily. So coming out, looking for a quick read, um, noticing he's in spinner. You know, when, you, when you're when in spinner, the running back is not manned up, you feel me, when you're in a trip tight end type of set. So I thought a quick read to Delvin Cook, picked the first down up, and here we have it, third and eight. He was locking up, calling his timeout, and again, I try to get the snag catch. Any other time, I get that all of a sudden, just because he has momentum, I'm not getting it. So I'm going to take the safe way, the safe route, and take my field goal, um, now, mind you, I'm, I was rocking 86 Justin Tucker. If you don't have the coins to get the better kickers, 86 Justin Tucker will definitely get it done for you, kicking 58s and everything, 56s, 57s, you name it. He's going to get it done. So we're up 31 to 23. Now I'm just trying to get off the field. Um, one stop wins, the, wins me the game as we absolutely bagged him up, had him next to the pork and beans in the grocery bag. He was bagged. He was pretty much bagged this entire game. It's just a whole lot of fluke, a whole lot of DDA, bro. EA, if y'all watching my video, stop with the DDA, bro. It's ridiculous. You feel me? We don't deserve to lose certain games. We shouldn't lose. So cool. Second and 10, I'm wondering what he's coming out in. If this green screen don't stay still, bro, I'm definitely going to get the one that goes on the ground and pick it up next because this one that come to church is not it. As we absolutely bag him up and get the sack right there, bro. 30 seconds left. Not sure why he didn't call a timeout. Pretty abysmal move by him. Um, 10 seconds left. Uh, looking to see what he wants. Everything is absolutely caged. And boom. Rasul Douglas gets the game winning pick, bro. Like I said, y'all, this game should have not turned into a dog fight like this, bro. It really shouldn't have. But we wind up getting the dub, bro. Like I said, y'all know what to do, man. Y'all smash that thumbs up for your boy, man. Appreciate you guys for stopping by watching the video, man. Until next time, it's your boy, Mama Green, and we out. Let's go, baby.